Prince Harry is about to hit the road and he might just pull off the impossible and rescue brand Sussex. Passport, multiple power adapters, travel size Tibetan singing bowl, dream journal, that one grey suit, organic trail mix, jojoba sheet masks, his favourite Frederick Forsyth novel, a special rock he found in the garden. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex's packing list is something that I would be curious to know, because overnight on Tuesday came the news that Montecito's most infamous failed podcaster is ready to fly. Hello and a very warm welcome to British Royal Daily Update's YouTube channel. Speculation have been circulating, that Prince Harry could be about to save his and Meghan's reputation, with a series of international trips and events. Let me list the places and dates where Harry will be appearing, such as Tokyo, Singapore, Dusseldorf and London, and the causes he will be supporting, such as sport, community, philanthropy and veterans. The upcoming release of Harry's Netflix documentary about the Invictus Games. Many contrast Harry's busy schedule with the royal family's quiet summer in Scotland, and suggests that this could be an opportunity for Harry to regain some positive PR after a difficult few months of legal battles, media criticism and business failures. After three and a half years of staying mostly on US soil, except for a few family and court case-related trips to the UK, the 38-year-old is off. Off on a multi-country, multi-city quasi-tour, unlike anything we have seen since he and wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex left the royal working life. First, on August 9, Harry will be in Tokyo to try and learn how to use chopsticks and to join a summit focused on sport, community and philanthropy. Then, three days later, he will be in Singapore to play in the charity Centibel ISB's Hand Apollo Cup. Also on the field will be his friend and owner of the other half of his BFF locket, Argentinian dreamboat Nacho Figueres. But the Duke better not pack away his sleep mask yet, because in September, from the 9th to the 16th, he will be going back to Europe to attend the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf. At this stage, it has not been revealed whether Meghan will be with him at any of these events as we have seen in the past. Also in September in London are this year's Well Child Awards, an organization Harry has been patron of since 2007. Given he faithfully attended the awards PM, pre-Mexit and pre-pandemic, there is a good chance he could show up there too. Keep in mind also during this period, we will have both Sussex birthdays, with Meghan turning 42 on August 4 and Harry hitting the big 3-9 on September 15. Meanwhile, at some point during the northern summer, it is expected that the Duke's long-awaited Netflix doco about the sporting competition he created for wounded, injured and sick service men and women, both veterans and those still serving, will be released. Given that during this time, the royal family will be away in a remote corner of Scotland where Wi-Fi is only available at the top of the castle's keep, get ready for an interesting switcheroo, with Brand Sussex about to be everywhere and Team Crown mostly out of sight. Or, in other words, we are about to see a lot of Harry, everywhere, all at once. Going into this period, the stakes are high, his flight upgrade has been requested and hopefully someone has remembered to order H gluten-free meal. So, will Harry pull off a major reset? Could this international trip turn the tide and fix the PR ship for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? The last couple of months would have to be some of the hardest for the couple since they left royal working life to try it on their own, with nothing but his inheritance and their titles to keep them going. Brave stuff. It's weird to think that their near-disastrous run-in with the paparazzi in New York happened less than two months ago, because so much has happened since then. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Update's YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when we drop a video, stay safe.